He's everybody's biggest fan. He used to be at the Clippers games all the time. And he's always wanted to play hockey, but there was really never a place for him to play. Kathy Karens recalls when her son Jack first joined the Nanaimo Eagles. Despite his eagerness to play, he was a bit nervous of the idea at first. He was reluctant, like I said, and then now he's just jumped in and, and, and actually it really probably took him about 15 minutes once he got over the, his sort of mental anxiety. And um, he's, his skating has just improved. It's just unbelievable how fast he can skate out there and what he can do. Jack was one of the first three players on the Nanaimo Eagles, a team that formed five years ago through Parks and Rec to offer adults with disabilities an option to play another sport. There wasn't any actual ice hockey. You know, Special, o does, uh, Special Olympics does a great job, uh, but ice hockey is not one of, uh, one of their sports. So it was, uh, it was a piece that was missing. It's fun. It's uh, the, hey, ice hockey. It's the best sport in the in Canada, I guess. <laughs> I just enjoy the team. I enjoy playing the game. I've always liked watching hockey. They don't have that opportunity growing up uh, to be a part of, uh, of a team and um, you know, having to rely on others and, and, and um, being a part of their lives as well. So it really is it's a lot of fun for, for us coaches. We had boys that arrived here that literally couldn't skate or, or were so un, unsure of themselves. And uh, they're skating you know, incredibly well now. And then I would say the same thing for Jack. It's just been great. And he feels, he feels like a real serious hockey player now. So it's great. It's great to see that, um, you know, his self-esteem. Lots of confidence. Uh, that's really the, the big piece. We're, we're really not concerned about the skill, even though they've got a huge amount of skill and they learn every practice. It's just their confidence in coming out and, and trying something that they've never really done before. I uh, actually got learned to be the captain of the team and to uh, practice turns and passing the puck. It's all for fun. You don't have to, it's everybody just comes out. If you don't even know how to skate, just come out and play. I mean, if you don't like it, you don't have to come back. No pressure at all. The Nanaimo Eagles would love to see more players come out and get involved, as well as more teams form so they can have some competition. There's no other teams uh, on the island uh, or the lower mainland. There is a team in Penticton. Uh, they, uh, we played them twice, we've traveled out there twice, uh, and they, uh, they chose not to come out here to play us. Um, so we're trying to find other teams to play. We'd like to see some on the island. We're hoping to have one in, in Oceanside uh, starting in September. We've started a little bit of groundwork there. So uh, we have found some other teams in California that we're hoping to go and play and uh, do some fundraising for them. In Nanaimo, I'm Kelly Robinson.